Good morning, gang. It's Tuesday, February 9th, and today is going to be our first official road trip in the new RV. So we hope you'll enjoy the trip with us. Welcome to the Motorhome Experiment. So the first thing I have to do this morning is actually go get the coach, and what better way to do that than on the electric unicycle. about three or four miles I was either gonna take the bicycle or this and this is a lot more fun off we go it is an absolute gorgeous morning a little chilly probably I don't know mid to high 40s but really looking forward to this trip so I hope you guys will enjoy coming along for the ride as much as I'm gonna enjoy bringing you On this first trip in the RV, we are going to be heading from Las Vegas down to San Diego. And I can't even remember the name of the campground we're gonna stay at, but we'll give you a review of that campground as well. There's several down there. They're fairly expensive, as you can well imagine, in San Diego with a couple of them running upwards of 80 to even $100 a night for, for an RV camp, which is, which is expensive. But again, you've gotta consider where it is. One of the most beautiful places in the country so it will be cool to check out san diego in the rv we're going down there to deliver my son sean's car to the shipper who will then be taking his car to hawaii where he's going to be moving which is really exciting and i'm very proud of him yeah looking forward to being able to actually go over there and visit him as well so should be fun Okay, and here we are getting ready to pick up the coach in storage. There's the old girl. Ooh, a little, a little, a little tight in there. I am excited. This thing makes all kinds of crazy ass noises when you start it up. Okay, so we're ready to head off to San Diego for our first real trip in the RV. We've done a couple out at Lake Mead as you guys may have seen by videos, but this is the first real road trip. So should be interesting. Come along for the ride. Lori's already on board. Hi. Are you ready? I'm ready. Off to San Diego we go. Yay. Road trip number one. Let's do this. Does it like count like road trip? No, nah, the lake didn't count. No. No, this is our first really official road trip. The lake was just kind of like a quickie overnighter. This is our three days on the road. And uh, four. four days on the road. Four days, all right, three nights. So official. official. All right. One of the things that we really need to figure out is a name for our RV. Everybody seems to have a name, and we haven't really picked one yet because we don't really know. We kind of were looking at Phoenix, right? We're kind of looking at the name Phoenix, like rising from the ashes, but as we've seen our little RV and gotten to know her a little bit, we've noticed that it's really not that bad, so we're not bringing it back from the brink of destruction or from the, the flames of destruction, whatever. It, it's really in pretty good shape. It just needs a little bit of massaging. So, I don't know if Phoenix is really a, was that my camera? Uh, I think that was my big camera that just went crashing to the floor. That's not good. Okay, slight interruption there. My uh, <laughs> Nikon camera went rolling off of the couch onto the floor and actually almost out the door. Not good. So, Phoenix is kind of a really cool name. I like it. But it's kind of like Phoenix is arising out of the ashes. And I don't think our coach is that bad not literally <laughs> metaphorically metaphorically we're still going to be massaging it back to life yeah all right no all we right. don't have to name it that way no i 
I, I like that name. I just didn't know if it was too much. So we'll, we'll think about that on the road for a little bit here, and then we'll let you guys know what we've come up with. Lori's good at this stuff because she came up with the name for our other companies. I think you've named all of the companies. No. Picasso, Sagaz. Sagaz is a word in Spanish that comes from the English word sagacious, or sagacious comes from the Spanish word sagaz, or Latin word, I don't know. That's awesome, I liked it. So anyways, we'll figure it out and let you guys know. But normally, yeah, she's the smart one in the family. The brains and the brawn. She calls me when the heavy stuff needs to get lifted. Okay, we're gonna be putting a tow dolly on this thing and the hitch is way high on that. So we need a big drop hitch and some little tools and then we'll be on the road. A gas stop in this thing is a totally different ordeal as well. It's like a half hour ordeal. Check this out. We're at 30, 40 gallons. Oh, it stopped? Well, we might be full. So, Lori has been outmanning the pump, but yeah, we're 40 gallons and we've been here for 15 minutes, so it takes a while to fill up. Okay, so we just picked up the tow dolly at U-Haul to put uh, Sean's car on to take down to San Diego to put him on the boat. So Sean's not getting on the boat, his car's getting on the boat on Friday, so this is kind of his last last chance to bail, right? It's Friday. Once his car is on the ship and it's gone, and I was just telling Lori, I've got so many emotions running through me right now. The, you know, the start of our RV adventures and my son going off to do his own thing and beginning his life on his own and, and becoming a man and all that stuff. I've got a lot of emotions right now and uh, it's really cool. All happy stuff, all good stuff because I know he'll, he'll be fine. I know he'll do well. It's still pretty tough. There's no going back now, Sean. You're out of here. <laughs> And look who has joined us. Sean is now in the RV. His car is being towed behind on the tow dolly. He's extremely nervous about that. He's not liking that at all. Hopefully his nerves will calm down shortly when he realizes his baby isn't gonna fall off the back. We, at least we I hope. think, or hope. We are on the road to San Diego. Woo woo. So I don't know if the family's gonna like this form of travel because Lori's in the back laying down. Sean's all stretched out, feet on the dash. I just don't think they're going to be comfortable enough. I just don't know if they can handle being this uncomfortable. So we just came up the hill out of Prim, Nevada, up onto the top of the mountain here. I don't even know what this mountain's called, but we were a little concerned with pulling Sean's car behind this gas RV that we would have a hard time climbing the hill out of Las Vegas. And I'm here to tell you that this old girl pulled it like a champ. I'm totally happy with it. When we're pulling the edge, I don't think our Ford Edge, I don't think we're gonna have any problems at all. And uh, we just rocked. It was it was awesome. No issues, no overheating, nothing. So all good in the hood. Sean is getting really comfortable back there. He's pretty much out cold. That's supposed to be my co-pilot, but my trusty co-pilot Lorena is still hanging tight. So we're just outside of Barstow, actually just coming into Yermo and we're still trucking. And we're just rolling into Barstow as the last little bit of sun sets over the desert mountains. And we're about to play in rush hour traffic. We made a quick stop in Temecula. We're now at the bank. At the bank, it's a Mexican food place. Pretty cool. Getting ready to head out to San Diego. About an hour or so to go. Almost hour. there. Downtown Temecula is pretty cool. It's a neat little downtown. They've got some wooden sidewalks, some cool little shops and things. and Always busy. Always busy. Even on a Tuesday night. Cool stuff. Get a chance. Check out Temecula when you're in the area. Well, we arrived a little bit later than we expected, but day one of our road trip is over. Good night. See you guys tomorrow.